is Justin Fields entering a seven-game trial period as the Chicago Bears quarterback? Perhaps. I'm Harrison Graham. You're watching Bears Now by Chat Sports. Some believe that these next seven games will determine Justin Fields' future and ultimately his fate with the Chicago Bears organization. I definitely think that's a possibility. So we're going to dive into just what that looks like here coming up in a moment. But we do have a subscriber battle going on right now with our Lions channel here at Chat Sports. It's Lions Hate Week. F Don Burr in the chat, by the way. Uh, they've got us beat so far, though, in new subs this week. They've picked up 149 new subscribers since Monday. We picked up 105. So if you want to beat the Lions on the field, got to beat them off the field as well. Let's double dip Detroit and uh, take down the Motor City here. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want daily Bears videos. Thought this was interesting from Brad Biggs on the score earlier today. Uh, he was asked if there's something, if there's anything he can do over these final seven games to prove he can be the guy. He said, I think it's possible. He's got 31 career starts. We're talking about a possibility of seven more here, which is a decent sample size that's big enough to infer things and make some judgments. And naturally, you're going to put more weight on what a player has done recently. He also added, it probably borders on wishful thinking when talking about seeing consistent play over the final seven games. I could be wrong, but that's something we haven't seen from him. So we'll see. He's got seven games. And yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, it does kind of feel like a seven-game trial period where we have to see more consistency than we have up to this point for Justin Fields. And I kind of look at the next five weeks and four games is like a big part of this. Because if you struggle these next four and finish strong against Arizona, Atlanta, and Green Bay, it's like, I don't know how much to take away from that. But against Detroit twice, at Minnesota, and at Cleveland, yes, I know they lost to Sean Watson, but a damn good defense there. If Justin Fields plays pretty damn well in those games and maybe wins a couple of them, that would show me a lot. And then hopefully he can beat a couple of less opponents down the stretch as well. It's now or never for Justin Fields. Like, I don't think there's any scenario, I shouldn't say any because if that Carolina pick doesn't finish top two, but assuming it does, I don't think there's a scenario where Justin Fields is up and down at best or outright struggles the remaining seven games and enters the offseason as the starter. Maybe he's in the conversation, maybe the Bears have to think it over, but to convince Ryan Poles he's the guy, he's going to have to play at a high level over these next two months, so it's, it, it, it's go time. I mean, we talked about that yesterday. We're talking about it again here. Like, the time is now. I mean, the margin of error is just not what it once was, especially entering this season for Justin Fields. Now, do you still believe in JF1? Are you still in the camp that he can be that guy for this team? I still think he can, but, like, I mean, it's hanging on by a thread, if we're being completely honest. Type B for believe, D for don't, pin comment on today's show, do you still believe in Justin Fields? Let me know in the comments section. Now let's get to some more juicy rumors here on today's show. Could the Bears hire Jim Harbaugh this offseason if they part ways with Matt Eberflus? The Athletic put out an article saying that Harbaugh would, quote, would appeal to Harbaugh, the Bears and the Raiders would, uh, I should say, in this coaching cycle. Let's just dive into what... Uh, Mike Jones of The Athletic said, and then react here. He said, Harbaugh is among those expected to receive consideration in the next hiring cycle, according to a league source, who has been briefed on discussions high-ranking NFL officials have had about potential head coach candidates. He continues, two other league sources who regularly talk with teams about hiring and firing decisions said at least two teams, the Chicago Bears and Las Vegas Raiders, are believed to be among those that would appeal to Harbaugh. Look, I've said it. I'll say it again. I'm interested in Jim Harbaugh. I get the cheating stuff is not a great look. It's not the most ideal situation. Could the NFL step in and give him some sort of small suspension? I think that's unlikely at this point since he is serving that suspension in college. But the guy's a flat-out winner. And coming up in just a few moments, I'm going to tell you why I would bring in Jim Harbaugh. Hint, it's because he's won at this level before. But first, I do want to tell you about our sponsor here on today's episode of Bears Now. That is Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit uh, that's going to deliver fresh, not frozen meals straight to your doorstep. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Chef-prepared meals uh, that you can make in a timely manner. It just takes a couple of minutes to prepare their meals. If you're looking for a special occasion during the holidays, level up with the Gourmet Plus options from Factor. Prepper to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Enjoy premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. That's what I like 
about factor. There's kind of different tiers of meals and different style meals. If you want calorie conscious options, they have several available for less than 550 calories per serving. If you're on the go, you can get their salad toppers, their uh, protein shakes, lots of different stuff as well. Again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Factor has it all. We have a deal for you as well. When you go to factormeals.com slash bearschat50, that's factormeals.com slash bearschat50. Use the code bearschat50. We'll be in the comments, description, and live chat of this video. If you're watching live, you're going to get 50% off. So enjoy delicious meals. Save that time that you would normally spend at the grocery store or cooking. And just throw this in the microwave for a couple of minutes, and you're going to be good to go. Not frozen meals. Healthy, delicious, timely. It's factor. Go check them out today. If you look at Jim Harbaugh's resume, Say what you want about the guy. Again, the cheating stuff, it's not great. I know that. I'm not advocating for it. But what I am advocating for is the Bears need a proven winner. And Jim Harbaugh is that. San Diego. Anybody watch San Diego football recently? I'm guessing it's not as good as 29-6 and six when he was there. Stanford, that program was dead. Took him above 500 in his t tenure there and went to a BCS bowl game. The 49ers, 44-19 and 19 with a tie. Went to the Super Bowl, multiple conference championship games. Michigan, 80 and 25, arguably the best team in the country this year, if not the second or third, uh, just like it was last year. Now, he is in the middle of that three game suspension. He's not going to coach the next two weeks. Uh, and that makes me wonder, too, like, is he just looking at this like, man, I'm just tired of the dealing with conference commissioners, the NCAA, college football? He's got to go on the recruiting trail and recruit. Like, I don't think people realize, like, being a college football head coach, it's two full time jobs. You got to recruit, and especially with all this NIL stuff, transfer portal, it's even more work. And you got to coach. Like, you still got to do all the weekly preparation for that game. I mean, it's you're working 80 to 100 hour weeks. That, that That's just the reality of it, especially during the season. So, uh, if I'm Jim Harbaugh, like, I'm looking at this, like, I'm trying to win a national title this year, then I'm, I'm out. Sayonara, I'm going to the NFL, and why not come back to the team you played for? Uh, in as part of your playing career in the Chicago Bears, and you could be the guy that saved this franchise. Again, they got to make a decision on Matt Eberflus first, but if you're the Bears, if you're Kevin Warren, and you get wind that Jim Harbaugh is interested, you got to take that very, very seriously. Now make the call. Would you hire Jim Harbaugh to replace Matt Eberflus? Type H for hire or P for pass. Look, whether he's your top guy or not, I mean, can we all agree we'd rather have Harbaugh than Eberflus? Like, Come on, let's be real. H for hire or P for pass. Let's get to the Thursday injury report here. Ten players listed, but not a lot of concerns. I mean, the Bears are as healthy as they've been in a while. Full, par full participants from Justin Fields, Khalil Herbert, Kari Blasengame, Nate Davis, Jack Sanborn, Terrell Smith. We'll talk about Herbert in a second. Deontay Foreman limited, but it sounds like he's trending in a good direction. Uh, Noah Sewell got added today, limited with the knee, so not sure if he tweaked something at practice. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds, Mercedes Lewis, DMPs. I don't think Edmonds plays, but Lewis always takes Thursdays as his veteran rest day because he's almost 40 years old. Do have some roster news. Darrington Evans has been waived. Now, as we're filming this at almost 5 o'clock Central time, there's not an official uh, corresponding move, but let's be honest. We know what the corresponding move is. Khalil Herbert's being activated from IR, uh, especially considering Evans was the player cut. You don't need Evans because he'd be your fourth running back. Herbert... Foreman, Roshan, that's your backfield. Travis Homer as well for special teams. Khalil Herbert's going to be back. Kind of sucks for Darrington Evans. I mean, every time he's had a chance, he's played well. He's done some good things on special teams, but it's a numbers game, man. It's a numbers game. I mean, Nathan Peterman, congrats. You have survived once again on this 53-man roster, but uh, I expect the Herbert um, elevation, activation, whatever you want to call it, to be announced between now and Saturday before that deadline. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay in the loop. News, rumors, coaching updates, a lot of stuff over the next several months, and obviously in the short term as well. we got videos between now and kickoff on Sunday, and let's beat those lines and new subscribers this week. It's YouTube.com slash Bears now. Appreciate all of our old-time and new-time subscribers. You guys are the best.